Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley, and welcome to Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. And as always, an honor to have Julie Storm on the show with me. Thank you. Pleasure now, to be thank here. Thank you for co-hosting this show for over 15 years with me, Julie. Long time. It's been really good, too. It's been fun giving people market updates. And what I wanted to do today was just give everybody kind of a market update since we're in the middle of 2017. Can you believe that? Uh, half the year's behind us and half the year is still in front of us. Lots of people out there moving. Uh -huh. um, um, some of them buying their first home. About 38% of buyers right now are first time home buyers. Um, it's interesting when millennials buy, they're buying homes totally different than when my generation bought yes. and your generation they bought their first house. <laughs> they are, they're buying a home by themselves uh -huh. or buying a home with their friends. Right. Um, parents are assisting in that first purchase. Um, there's some low down payment plans out there and no down payment plans where they, as long as they've got good credit, they can get a home. So it's a great opportunity. Rent has really gone up Yes, here. I was reading some articles uh -huh. about that, that in the Charlotte um, metro area, that rent is continually to yeah, increase. Yeah, rent has doubled almost in the last five years in most of the Charlotte metro area. And while interest rates have stayed low, you know, interest rates are the primary factor in what it costs to buy a home. Um, a 1% increase in interest rates is just like a 10% increase in the price of a house. It's the same thing to your budget. When I first bought my first home, it was a small house yeah. and it was under 100000 and the interest rate I believe was somewhere around 17% yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. the payment on that versus yeah. even what I'm owning today mm -hmm. is yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. My first home cost $65,000. Interest rates were 13%. My payment was over $1,200 a month. Right. And I was 22 years old. So that $1,200 payment now would buy somebody a home that cost them two or $300,000. So great opportunity. Interest rates have gone up four times in the last year. If you're watching the news, they just went up last year. The, the prime rate, which is what banks charge banks, that always has an effect on mortgages also. So interest rates are going up. And if you're going to buy, it's probably a really good time to buy. Uh, most banks will let you lock in for 60 or 90 days. So the rate today, if rates are going up, you can go and apply for a loan, lock that loan in, Julie, and that loan will be good for up to 60 or 90 days, depending on the loan program and depending on the bank. Um, this year has been really steady. It's really a repeat of last year. Um, buyers are out in full force. They're having a hard time finding a home. And um, in, cer in certain price ranges, there's a shortage of houses. And that can be down to the, to the neighborhood or even the street. The, the elementary school, the zip code, the city. Um, if you've had your home on the market in the past and it has not sold, have us out to reevaluate that because now it could sell, it could sell. We put a home on the market that we had on the year, uh, uh, market a year and a half ago and it did not sell. We put it on the market last week, got three offers in wow. two days. Wow. So we got three offers on that home in two days. It sold 10,000 over what we were asking, Julie and the people were paying cash. So there's no appraisal involved. So that's the difference in that market for that home. So if you've thought about selling your home and it did not move in the past, give us a call, let us come back out and we'll figure out if it'll sell now, what it will sell for. Might be a great time to get that home sold before rates go up higher. Why don't you, you know, you talk about uh, home ownership is one of the best investments you can make. And I think speaking to the millennial market, renting versus buying uh, right. is really a smart decision because you're building on something. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of people ask me um, as a business person, should they invest in um, rental property? Should they invest in stock, bonds? And again, I'm not an investor, I'm not an investment consultant, I'm a realtor, but your primary home is the only investment. An investment, in my opinion, is, de is defined on something that increases in value. It's the only investment that the government assists you in buying. It's the only investment that someone else will loan you the money to buy. No one's gonna loan you money to buy stock unless it's your dad or something. So there's, there's people that will participate in the purchase of it, banks, and they'll loan up to 97, 100% of the cost of the investment. And then Julie, it's the only investment that I know that you get to use and it still go up. You don't use stock while you own them. You don't use the rental property as you own it. 
but you use your primary residence and then the interest rates is a tax write-off, the taxes you pay on the home is a tax write-off, and there's a lot of um, energy saving things you can do to the home now that are tax write-offs. So it, it, it's really a great investment and um, it's great to see people um, who are buying their first home and then when they sell it, that be the nest egg that launches them throughout the rest of the home purchases. Thank, on thank goodness I bought my first house. Yep, I feel the same way. I, I still benefit from that to this day. So just a market update there. If you've got any interest in selling your home or buying your home, buying home, give us a call here at the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Group. We're here to serve all your real estate needs. Julie, thank you so much for being on today's show. We've got beautiful homes for selling your area on today's show. Please stay tuned for that, and we'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.